There's a special technique that you can divide, uh, use to divide one polynomial by another, and it's called synthetic division. But you can only use it when there is uh, a polynomial of the form x minus c in the denominator. Okay, So it's really important that it's x to the first power. You can't have x squared or x cubed. Only, and the coefficient here on the x has got to be a 1 as well. So only when you have something of that in that form can you use this process, synthetic division. Okay, so with that in mind, let's go ahead and see how we do it. Let's divide 3x cubed uh, minus x plus 5. <clears throat> We're dividing that by x plus 2. Now, first of all, can I even use synthetic division? Does the denominator have the right form? And the answer is yes, because I can write that denominator in the following way. Well, the, numer the numerator I'll just leave as 3x cubed minus x plus 5. And the denominator can be written as x minus negative 2. So remember the criteria was that you needed a, uh, an x minus c in the denominator, right? So that's why I wrote that x minus negative 2. I wrote that, or I wrote the x plus 2 like this so that you can see it's in the form x take away c. What would c be here? c would not be positive 2, c would be negative 2. Okay. So in other words, this is a uh, synthetic division candidate. Okay, so once you establish that, here's what you do. You take the c, so in this case you take the negative 2, and you simply write it on the outside. Okay, no x, just the number negative 2, which is always the c. Then what you do is you write this sort of inverted uh, long division symbol, so it's inverted, it's sort of upside down, and uh, sort of uh, next to the negative 2, so there are two rows here, and, and next to the negative 2, you write the coefficients of your um, dividend, which is the numerator, you write the coefficients in descending order. So first of all, see how it's x cubed, and there's you know, 0x squared, then x to the positive first. There's a gap here, right? It, it goes 3, 2, but the coefficient x squared, there's nothing there. So I'm really thinking this. I'm really thinking 3x cubed plus 0x squared minus x plus 5. I put in the 0x squared because there was an x squared term that was missing. It's like the coefficient was a 0. So what you do is you take these coefficients the 3, the 0, the negative 1, and the 5, and you simply write them across in a line. So you write 3, uh, 0, negative 1, and positive 5. This is how it always goes with, with uh, synthetic division. You have to get the, um, the terms in descending order as far as the exponents are concerned, and you have to fill in any gaps. In other words, if, you, if you're missing something, a, a term of a certain degree, you have to put a zero in like I did for x squared. Okay, then what you do once you have that is you simply take the three and you just drop it straight down right here. So you put a three right there. So whatever number you get when you do synthetic division, you always bring it down right here. Then what you do is you take the negative two and you multiply it by the three and that gives you negative six. You take that number and put it right below the next number here. So you put the negative 6 there. <clears throat> okay, then you add these two numbers vertically. So 0 plus negative 6 is negative 6. And you do the same thing. Negative 2 times negative 6 is a positive 12. And that positive 12 is going to go right here. Add vertically. So you're going to get 11. And now same thing. Negative 2 times 11 is negative 22. Put that number right here. And then you add vertically, and you get negative 17. Now, amazingly, <clears throat> all the hard work is done. What you do is you take these numbers. These numbers are the first, um, all the numbers but the last one, these first numbers here, they are coefficients for your quotient. So do you see how the uh, numerator here started with x cubed? What you do is you take what you start at one degree less than that. So in this case, x squared. This is the coefficient for x squared. So I get 3x squared. And then you make your way down. This is going to be the coefficient for x. This is going to be the constant. And the last number that you get right here is your remainder. 
So it's going to be plus your remainder, which is negative 17, divided by your uh, dividend. Or sorry, make that your divisor, which is x plus 2. So once again, the form is quotient plus remainder over divisor. And synthetic division just gave me a fast way of finding all the coefficients and the remainder. Okay. Now typically you can take that negative and write it, you know, instead of plus negative, people often just write minus. So let me go ahead and write 3x squared minus 6x plus 11 and then minus 17 over x plus 2. All right, so that would be your answer. Synthetic division helped us uh, perform this division really quickly. Now you might say, well, how do I know that's correct? There are a couple of ways of checking this. And one thing you can do is you can actually perform this division using long division. So you could say, as, as a check on your work, you could say, let me go ahead and take x plus 2 and divide it into the 3x cubed. So 3x cubed plus 0x squared minus x plus 5. Now we did long division uh, in a previous video, but the way that works is, well, what do you have to multiply the x by to get 3x cubed? That's gonna be 3x squared. And then you take that and you distribute. So it's gonna be 3x cubed uh, plus 6x squared. And then you put parentheses around that and subtract the whole thing. And you're left with, well, these cancel, but you get a negative 6x squared minus x plus 5, when I brought down the negative x and the positive 5. And then what times x gives negative 6x squared? That's going to be negative 6x. Take that and distribute it. So it's going to be negative 6x squared minus 12x. Put parentheses on that. Subtract off the whole thing, just like before. So we're going to get, well, these are going to cancel, right? Because it's a positive 6x squared. But this is going to be a positive 12x. Take away x is going to be 11x plus 5. And then I'm going to need a, an x times 11, so a positive 11 here. And I take that 11 and distribute it. So it's 11x plus 22. Put parentheses around that. Subtract off the whole thing, just like before. So I get negative 17. And what would my answer be? Well, it would be 3x squared minus 6x plus 11 plus the remainder negative 17 over x plus 2, which is exactly what I got right here. Okay, so in other words, synthetic division, division is just a fast way of performing uh, division. You don't have to use long division, but it only works when you have x minus c in the denominator. Okay. So that's how synthetic division will always go.